J point in EKG is the point where the QRS complex joins the ST segment. J point represents the approximate end of ventricular depolarization and the beginning of repolarization. J point is not always isoelectric, as there is an overlap around 10 milliseconds between ventricular depolarization and repolarization. This means few ventricular myocardial cells remain in depolarization state, when repolarization starts early in few other ventricular myocardial cells. J-point elevation can be normally seen in early repolarization, particularly in young and healthy individuals. The deviation in J-point from the baseline can also be observed in myocardial ischemia and infarction, pericarditis, right bundle branch block, left bundle branch block, right ventricular hypertrophy, left ventricular hypertrophy, Brugada syndrome, and digitalis effect. On most EKG, the determination of the J-point, as a demarcation between QRS and the start of the ST is clear, it marks the transition of QRS complex to ST segment. The magnitude of ST segment elevation or depression is measured as the difference in height between the J-point and PR segment. However, the position of J-point in relation to a slurred terminal QRS complex is still debated. J-wave is a deflection that occurs before the J-point. The J-point and J-wave are totally different and unrelated events. A positive deflection prior to J-point, termed as J-wave or Osborne wave, is characteristically seen with hypothermia. J-wave can also be seen in early repolarization, Brugada syndrome and hypercalcemia. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and healthy.